All right, first of all, I'm gonna comment out this relative layout in our XAML file. Now in the code, first we create a layout of type relative layout. And before we forget, we set the content of the page to this layout. Now we want an aqua box view. So aqua box is a new box view with the color aqua. Now we should add this to our layout. So layout.children.add aqua box. Now this add method has a few overloads. The one that we use most often is this one. So this method has five parameters and the last four, as you see, are optional because they're set to null by default. Now, in this case, I wanna apply a width and a height constraint to this box view. So, to keep our code clean, we can use named arguments in C-sharp. So, width constraint, colon. Now, here we need a constraint object. We use the constraint class, dot. Here we have a few factory methods for creating a constraint object. The one I'm gonna use now is relative to parent. Now look at the IntelliSense for relative to parent method. This method gets a func of relative layout and double. If you're not familiar with funks, I highly recommend you to take my C-sharp advanced course because there I have covered this in detail. But basically, whenever you see func, you can use a Lambda expression. So this Lambda expression I'm gonna write takes an object which is a relative layout and returns a double. I'm gonna call this parameter parent goes to. Now I want the width of this aqua box view to be the same as its parent. So parent dot width, as simple as that. Let's apply another constraint. Height constraint. Again, constraint dot relative to parent. I'm gonna write a lambda expression that takes a parent and returns height of the parent times 0 0.3, exactly like before. Now, let me reformat this code so you can see more clearly. That's it. And finally, let's add our silver box view. So a new box view with the color set to silver layout.children.add silver box. Now I wanna apply a Y constraint. So Y constraint, again, constraint dot. This time I'm gonna use relative to view. Now which view? Aqua box. So aqua box. Look at the IntelliSense. Again, we have func, which means we should write an inline function that takes two arguments, a relative layout and a view, and returns a double. So, again, a lambda expression, two arguments. The first one is relative layout, and the second one is the target view, in this case, the aqua box view. I'm gonna call this element. Now, this goes to element.height plus 20. Now, let me reformat the code. So this is how you work with relative layouts in code. All right, now it's time for an exercise.